Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the retro release of the Ultra Boost 1.0 Solar Yellow colorway. Yes, guys, so it's happening. Uh, it's been happening for a while. Ultra Boost 1.0s are getting retro releases. So uh, the original Ultra Boost 1.0 line came out in 2015. I know, I'm looking at the clock and I'm like, 2015, that feels like yesterday. Then I look and it's four years ago and I'm like, oh geez, I'm feeling old already. But I remember when these bad boys were like initially releasing, like in 2015, and there was this big craze about it. It was going to kill Nike, it was going to kill Jordan Brand, the Ultra Boost was going to do it to him. And for a while it did actually. Ultra Boost was on top for a long time because it was just super comfortable. Um, ath ath uh, athlo I can't even say it. Athletic leisure wear clothing was like a big thing in this area, like in 2015 to 2016 and even 2017. Uh, it's slightly died off now, but at that time, the Ultra Boost just fit that category that everyone wanted to fit themselves in. Um, I, at that time, was still not a huge fan of them. Um, at around 2015, I was buying my first ever uh, Jordan 1 retros, and that's how I like initially got into it. So even when these were coming out, I wasn't a huge, huge fan of them. And come on. Looking at this colorway, looking at the solar yellow colorway, tell me that that doesn't look like a tennis ball. People wearing this, they look like they have tennis balls on their feet. Come on. It really, like, I mean, it's, if you want to wear highlighters on your feet, go for it. Go for it. They're coming out on October 3rd for $180. So if you missed out back in 2015, you can now buy them in 2019 and get some nice little highlighters for your feet. For me though, Nah, man. No, nah, I'm, I'm like I'm very hit or miss on Ultra Boost 1.0s initially, so they've got to be a nice colorway to be a good selling point for me. And uh, yikes, um, this is definitely, in my opinion, not a good colorway. I am not a huge fan of just highlighter shoes. They just look hideous. Um, imagine this when you get it dirty. It's gonna look like like worse than vomit. It's just gonna look so ugly. I mean to some people they're like, you know what? The Ultra Boost 1.0s are my favorite. I Don't mind this colorway too much. I'm gonna pick it up and you know what go for your life if you want these go for your life as I said October 3rd 180 US dollars for the retail price, but I'm not a huge fan of it Although some people may be asking why of you know Ultra Boost getting retros well from what my mate Dylan tells me, Ultra Boost, every single time they've released the next model, like the 2.0s, the 3.0s, the 4.0s, they've progressively gotten worse. And according, I mean, I've, I'm taking this from his perspective because I'm not hugely into the Ultra Boost scene. But according to him, the Ultra Boost 1.0s are arguably the best Ultra Boost that they've released and that's why the Ultra Boost 1.0s are getting re-releases because they were just the best Ultra Boost to ever be released. So I can understand why they're, re why they're retroing the original colorways for the 1.0s. I can understand why they're getting a release. But yeah, I mean, this colorway was super, uh, super missed for me back in 2015. And getting a retro release in 2019 has not changed my mind. I have not come to the highlighter side of uh, sneakers. So um, this is still going to be a big miss for me. But to some people that are huge Ultra Boost fans, um, they're super keen for this. And, uh, and if you're one of them, let me know in that comment section below. Let me know. Are you a huge fan of the, uh, the Ultra Boost 1.0s? Are you very much like my mate Dylan who said that the original 1.0s are better than the 2s, 3s, and 4s? I want to know your Ultra Boost opinions in that comment section below. And also your opinions on this colorway, the uh, solar yellow colorway. It's... Um, it's just a bit too much for me. I just can't do it, man. It's just super, super bright. I, You have to wear this with all black or all white, and it's only going to look like decent on an all black fit. And you've just got to have dark colored pants to make this work. You just, you cannot have light colored pants with this shoe because it'll just, it'll just look super whack. You want something that will contrast really, really well with this colorway because it's super bright. So I would think if you're going to buy this and wear this, I'm going to recommend wearing like all black and have this shoe just pop. So when people look at your outfit from a distance, they're just going to see the shoes pop and everything else is just toned down. Everything else is just black, one color, nothing else is flashy besides the shoes because you don't want too much going on in your outfit when you're wearing this kind of color, man. It's just too hectic. I can understand people that want to buy this for like 
just athletic purposes. They want to go on a run and they want to have the Ultra Boost 1.0s, but I feel like this retro is specifically catering towards the Ultra Boost community that just really like Ultra Boost 1.0s and just really want to pick up a pair of a retro pair. So I think it's catering to that small community. I don't think it's catering to people like me that are very like hit or miss on Ultra Boost and very hit or miss on the colors. I think it's catering towards them. So good on you Adidas for, you know, supplying sneakers to a small part of the community that probably don't get, you know, a lot of sneakers released in a, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a year. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, um, October 3rd, 180 American dollars, guys. Let me know in that comment section all your thoughts and opinions on it. And that's it, guys. The Solar Yellow Ultra Boost 1.0s coming out October 3rd for 180 American dollars. Are you picking them up? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in that comment section below. It's kind of cool that this sneaker is getting a re release. Um, obviously, as I've expressed in this video, it's catering towards that small Ultra, ultra Boost like fan group, the guys that are really super into it. Um, not to, you know, Ultra Boost plebs like me that don't really care too much about it, but it's nice to see that, uh, Ultra Boost are getting retro releases. It is quite nice. It has been done before, but it's nice to see that they're continuing on with that idea that they're going to retro Ultra Boost. So it is quite nice. But yeah, as we've said multiple times in the video, October 3rd, 180 bucks. You copying it? Yes, no. Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow all these socials as you're scrolling down to type all your wonderful opinions in that comment section below. And yeah, that's it guys. The Ultra Boost Solar Yellow 1.0s. So until next time, I'll catch you later.